today I'm in the um, EP lab and um, I'm looking for Dr. Eldada. Ooh, there he is. Okay. Hey, Dr. Eldada, Hi, how, are how are you? Great. You got a couple of seconds so I can talk Absolutely, to you about this? Sure. Okay, Please great. Okay, I'll follow you in. Okay. No, go ahead. Okay. There we go. Busy day today? It's a good day in the electrophysiology laboratory. I'm pretty busy. Yeah. Pretty busy. We're mm -hmm. One of the busiest DP labs in the country, so today was a nice mix of ablations for heart rhythm disorders and implants of pacemakers and defibrillators. Kind of like the, uh, the, uh, Vice President Cheney's kind of exactly, stuff? Exactly, exactly. Uh, he cool. has a defibrillator along mm -hmm. with hundreds of thousands of other people, mm -hmm. and we implanted a number of those today as well as several pacemakers. Ah, cool. Excellent. Well, today we're sort of going to talk about something that's related to defibrillators and uh, pacemakers and um, there apparently there was a study about um, headphones being a problem. Can you tell me a little about that? Right, right. So one of the big questions that patients who receive pacemakers or defibrillators ask is can my device safely be used with other electronic devices like cell phones or mp3 players, digital cameras, etc. And the answer traditionally has been yes, that these devices are very well insulated. And the answer continues to be yes. The study that uh, was just reported at a major heart meeting was a nice um, study, relatively small but elegant in, the, in that it answered a question, and that is, can NP3 players safely be used in patients who have defibrillators or pacemakers implanted? And the simple answer is yes, they can be used. There was an interesting finding, however. What was found is that some of the larger headphones that sometimes are used in patients or individuals who have MP3 players can interact with a pacemaker or a defibrillator. And by interact, it means that that can change the programming of the device in a way that may be harmful. So the recommendation is simply to keep larger headphones a, large, a, you know, a distance away from the device itself. And the actual distance was three centimeters, so about this far away. So the simple answer is if somebody has a set of headphones, particularly the larger headphones, when they're on the ears, it's not a problem because the devices generally are implanted under the collarbone. These are examples of what these devices look like. This is a defibrillator, a fairly large device that, that's implanted under the collarbone, under the skin. This is a pacemaker, much smaller, but also implanted under the collarbone. This distance is a safe distance away. The problem happens when a set of headphones is placed directly on the chest or very close. If that's the case, then the magnets or the electromagnetic energy from the headphones themselves can interfere with the pacemaker and that's something that we should try to avoid. So the simple answer is just keep headphones a good distance away from any pacemaker or defibrillator. That's terrific. Well, you know, I think that really gives me the information that I need for today. Thank you for your time, and um, I'm sure I'll be talking to you again later. Take care. Thanks so much, Paula. Thanks okay. for coming by. See you later. Bye. Bye.